Welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm an empath. Hey, Oka. Wise clown. This is my boy, Benno. Big face, Benny. Yep. Well, we already did a video today, but, you know, it's a Virgo full moon. It was funny, in the first video, I'm like, I've been tracking so much astrology, I'm like, what sign is it in? But, duh. I, as the student, wasn't ready for the teacher. <laughs> you know? So, therefore... <laughs> I'm such a long, you know, it doesn't matter how much I learn in this freaking life. It doesn't matter. I'm still not going to know it all. I'm not even a tip. I'm not, I'm just, I just, I'm not. And it's baffling and it's great. And I love watching other people get it, you know, get it. I got it. Loretta and I were just having a talk, me and mom. And, uh, you know what, maybe I'll unplug everything today. Take her out and say hi. Because I know one of my, I want to just meet her one day and I talk about her so much. Hey mom, say hi, I'm doing a video. Woo! Say hi! Hi! <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty much a big old cheerleader for astrology. Because if I didn't have it, I probably would be dead right now, honestly. Because I have a propensity. I'm a drunk. I'm all about escaping. Because life ain't fun. So who wants to... I mean, I can play a role for a while, but God, it gets exhausting trying to be something you're not. So what happened is the universe made me <laughs> stop doing that. <laughs> so now I just share stories about my experience and things I've learned about said astrology and whatnot. Well, today's the Mer Virgo full moon. There's a full moon in Virgo, and it's also a super moon, which means just ba it's just closer to the Earth, so it's going to be bigger. And uh, it's in Virgo. Well, we all have Virgo in our chart because all the houses are represented by this, the signs in the same order. So for every house, like first house is Aries. Well, I'm an Aries sun. You know, and Aries, you know, it's ruled by Mars, the planet, you know, war, you know, um, we're, 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 uh, we're the first to try things because we're the first of the Zodiac and because people, you know, people misinterpret that first attitude, look at it, it's really selfish, but really we're, we're, we aren't, you know, but it's, it's more about how they see us than <laughs> how we do anyway. So, uh, my brother is a Virgo. And this is just really interesting. He, I have one of my guys that I got from Bassett Beagle Rescue from the Midwest. Uh, Artie, he's not in here right now, but he and my brother were born on the same day. So I have actually learned a lot about my brother based on my dog's temperament, which is funny because temperament is the same. And, you know, you don't need language to display temperament. And he, uh, they're all wound up. Well, it occurred to me, because that's what this full moon is, this, what it does, it's bringing up low vibrational shit in that, in career and house, in the house. For me, in, um, I have to look at my chart more specifically, but in career stuff, because mine hasn't been going very well for a while, because, you know, I hang out with Loretta and I can't leave her for more than a couple hours. So she falls, yeah, you just, it's, I can't, so... Had to switch year, gears a little bit, trying to figure out a different way to use my Bachelor of Science degree and in business information systems. And, and um, so all my work stuff has been, you know, <laughs> really strained. Well, it occurred to me today that my brother is born under that sign, so he is all work. Holy shit, that's got to be exhausting. And I know he works all the time. He has a work ethic like nobody's business, like nobody I've ever met in my whole entire life is a work ethic. And that's why he's so far in life in his career, because his work ethic is impeccable. And so, well, I'm an Aries. So my, my sun sign is freaking all about playing. We've always had a hard time getting along. And that's because I'm coming from my vibration what I'm all about and he's coming from his and they're kind of opposite ends of the spectrum you know those lists that say you know those duality lists that say good you know what's good and what's not you know 
<sighs> what's selfless and what's not. Well, that's based on the person that made the list. You know what I mean? So what I found today is because of my background, and I've given myself such a broad spectrum of background in the military and in corporate America and working in hospitals and in universities around academia, you know, the more people get ideas about, you know, <laughs> the less they know about one thing, you know, and you start filling yourself up with more ideas about stuff, you know, everybody needs one thing to focus on, you know, to block out all of that other stuff that just becomes noise and distraction. See, I look at the universe as just one big brain. Like when you look at cosmic celestial photos, how it's all connected, I think DNA is just, or I think dark matter is just space DNA. When the spirit goes, dies, it all goes back to, it's like vibration, you know? It's celestial solar family, you know? And, we're, and there's people that were, you know, in the same group, you know, that, that we've experienced incarnations on Earth as much as we've experienced incarnations in different dimensions. We just have all, you know, we're pack beings. Vibration is like a pack. It's no different than wolves traveling together. And, you know, oftentimes those are family, but it's extending out more farther than that because people are finding their packs and, and people that they've never met before, you know. And with this Virgo stuff, it's like a splinter that that you get that gets really deep. You know, it'll stay down there for a while. You might forget that it's even there, but eventually, <laughs> that stuff comes out. Yeah. And all that low vibrational stuff with the super full moon, you see, we are 70% water, just like the Earth. And with the mass, the excess uh, moon surface it, it makes that draw extra potent so it's drawing the water which we are 70 percent out and in water is where the vibration sits of emotions so all that low vibrational stuff the stuff that people have been stuffing for you know as long as they can remember the terrible neglect and abuse and stuff that they were told didn't happen but you know they felt <laughs> they know damn well and good it did you know now all that now their knowing is 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 trumping, for lack of a better word, uh, you know what people are telling them. So people are coming into their truth and they're speaking on it and they're not letting it freaking ruin them and kill them. Some people are. Some people are not handling it real well. They're getting triggered, you know. And humans have to fucking glorize it, glorify everything. Just <laughs> like when the people are talking about downloads, they got to download. They're getting a fucking idea. It ain't much more glamorous than that. I got an idea. I get these ideas. Download, it's the same thing. But we, it's like, you know, I think maybe a lot of people, I do it in relation because I was in IT. So I get data from an external source, you know. But, but what's the external source? Well, it's just one big brain that we're all connected to. But the funny part of it is, is you got to block everything else out to tap into that, main, that mainstream, the real mainstream of ideas. All right, that's it. I think I'm calling it because uh, I said my piece. I hope you all have a rad day. Oh, and counteract stuff. You know, and that's that's the thing I was going to mention. That's how we can use astrology. Okay, so I watched an astrology report. This man I've come to, I've come to trust because what he says, you know, I verify to be true. So that tells me where it's close in frequency. So he's like, say, you know, so like there are certain planetary aspects that line up that were like, if you look at on this day, if you look back when these planetary alignments were in this same way in history, airplanes crashed. So what that tells me is, well, <laughs> during these aspects, I'm not booking a flight that day. That's how you can use astrology in your life. Yeah. You just, you know, we, <laughs> there's more to it later. Take care. That's it.